can use the Skew Later 4.0 bag. This is a good product to pick up the metal ions in the water. And what it does is it draws them into a bag. I'll show you the product right now. So it has a bag with a polymer in it and it draws the metal ions in here and traps them and that's how you get the metal actually out of your pool. So the Skew Later 4.0 is the one I'm going to use in this particular account since it shows such a high level of metal. And they also have a 1.0 that you can add to the skimmer. You can also get a gator egg to put it in so that you don't throw it away on accident. Here's a plastic pool with some pretty serious metal stains. Looks like a, when I was here, a battery had fallen in here and rolled around. And it went down to the deep end here. You can see it right there. There's a big rust stain there. And over here. So I'm going to add some dichlor shock. And you'll see the watercolor actually change to a green tint when the chlorine activates with the metal. And the water will remain clear, but you can see how the metal activates with the chlorine and changes the color. You can actually see more of the green tint now that it's more time has passed and it definitely has a reaction to some kind of metal in the water. I'm going to test the water to see if it does indeed have a copper problem. It does appear to have a slight copper problem, 0 0.2 to 0 0.5. The Taylor kit is another way you can tell if there's uh, metal in the pool. When you do the, uh, the calcium hardness test, if it changes a certain color, you'll show there's metal. And I'll show you right now. I'm going to go ahead and add the drops and I'll show you the results. And it's supposed to turn blue if once it reaches the end of the calcium hardness test. But if there's metal present in the pool, it'll throw off the reading and you'll get a purple, uh, dark purple color. So a good time to use the product is when you acid wash your pool and you're refilling it with water. Sometimes in your area there might be metal in there. So I would suggest throwing either the 1 point um, or the 4.0 in your pool at that time when you're filling it. And depending on your area you might need it as a monthly or um, depending on how long or how much metal is in your pool. It may last longer than a month but you might need it as a permanent treatment. Especially if you have well water or if you know your water has a lot of metal in it to keep your pool from getting metal stains. You may have to use this product on a continuous basis. And the 4.0 goes directly into the pump basket. I'm going to throw this one in here. Make sure your pump basket is clean. Get it out. Because I'm going to drop it in the pump basket. And again, the 1.0 goes in the skimmer. And again, you might see it floating in there, depending on if it fills up with gas or not. There's three little glass pellets in there that kind of hold it to the bottom. But I suggest getting a gator egg. That way you can put it in there and keep it from floating up. So the real benefit of the See You Later product is that when you're doing the metal sequestering for your pool using whichever sequestering agent you choose, once it sequesters the metal out of the water, it'll suspend it in the water, so you're going to need the See You Later to actually eliminate the metal from the water. And again, remember the limitation of the product. The See You Later is a metal remover. It's not a stain eliminator, so it won't take any kind of metal stains off of the surface of the pool or off the walls or any kind of metal rust stains and the sequestering agents also usually will not remove any metal staining from the pool itself. So you're going to need to do other treatments to get rid of the actual staining. All these sequestering agents do is suspend the metal in the water so that when you do use a product to remove the stain it's more effective. This is the pool that has a dance floor. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the See You Later. It's been here for about a month now. I had the 4.0 version in the pump. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and get it out. Let me pull out the pump here. And you can see that it definitely has a blue tint to it. Even darker than when I first pulled it out at the initial treatment. You can see the blue along the edges here. And it's got some other coloring right there too. And here's a bag that hasn't been used, of course, you can see them next to each other. 
That's the one I just pulled out, and that's the one that hasn't been used before. So you can definitely see the blue tint, definitely in the corners, and especially in the back of the bag. You can actually see it all through here on the bottom area. Here's a color chart for the metal that you'll see the bag turn. It'll turn a really light color. Um, one of these colors, if you have metal present, the only one that won't change color is the manganese, if you have that in your water. But the copper will be a light blue, and then you see the color chart for the other metals.